Good morning, this is Christy Jones, Holistic Health Coach, and I wanted to share with you the topic for me that I think is so important to health that I would like everybody to know. Honestly, my, my personal passion is bringing this information into schools and sharing this with teachers and administrators because I think this simple tip would change what we see, um, really how we interact with each other and interact with children in our school system but this is for everybody it's how we can change how we interact with our own body and having an awareness of our own body and then also how we interact with other people and so to me this is the secret of health and well-being and so it's really understanding that we have a natural state of balance in our body so what is our natural state of balance in our body and to me it's so once you hear it, it's so simple. It's like, why doesn't everybody know this? Um, everybody needs to know this. And let me know after you watch this video if this makes sense to you and if you agree or disagree. Um, in my many years of working with people in and helping them regain their health, once I understood this concept, it's like a light bulb went on and and I felt like I had tools that I didn't have before and that actually it made health attainable for everybody. So are you ready to know our natural state of balance? So our natural state of balance is very much like a tree. We are nature as much as we think that we're superhuman and our bodies should just go, go, go and we shouldn't have to pay attention to our bodies. So if you think about it, a tree needs to have sunshine coming down to nourish it and it needs to have water coming up and when it gets enough of both, it thrives. So here's the cool thing, is that our body is very much like a tree. We create warm energy in our body and that energy is meant to flow down to our abdomen. When it does that, we digest our food properly, we go to the bathroom properly, we, our circulation is good and we feel balanced and grounded on our feet. That signals our kidneys to release water up to our head, that goes up to our head and it cools our head. So our natural state of balance is a cool head and a warm abdomen. In the Korean philosophy that I was trained in, we call that water up and fire down. That's our natural state of balance. So unfortunately, in modern life, our energy tends to reverse and our energy tends to flow up to our head and we become stressed and overwhelmed and anxious and depressed and experience brain fog and headaches and migraines and then our abdomen becomes cool and we're holding tension in our intestines and we start dealing with um, maybe stomach aches and bloating, digestive issues, IBS, constipation, diarrhea, um, you know, and just an overall lack of health and well-being. And the good news is, is that we can actually switch that. And we can switch that very simply with movement. As a health coach, of course I work with nutrition and and you know, how are we eating? Are we eating fast? Are we eating slow? Are we chewing our food? There's a lot of things that we can look at with our health, but most importantly, it's, it's so important to understand what it actually feels like to be in a natural state of balance. So, so that we can understand what it feels like to have a cool head and a warm abdomen and to get out of that natural state well, not that natural state, but that state of chronic stress. Most people are in a chronic state of stress, either high stress or low stress, and it's just become a way of life. But guess what? Stress kills us. <laughs> and what we're finding is that people's health is declining at earlier and earlier ages, and we just think that that's the way it's supposed to be. But it's not. And so really through simple movements, we can turn off the stress response. So I have many different tools that I use to help with that, but a really simple thing that we can do is we actually need to bring our energy from our head to our abdomen. And, and so why is our gut so important? What we have found is that it's our gut that's controlling our brain. And for our gut to be healthy, it literally needs to be warm. Our intestines need to be flexible. And, and we need our digestive system working properly. So I'm gonna show you just a really simple way that you can bring your energy down. So normally I would say have you stand up, but if I stand up, you're not gonna be able to see me. So if you are watching this, I want you to stand up and just stand with your feet shoulder width apart and bounce your knees and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. 
and then take your fingertips and tap your head. Just by doing this, keep breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, this is going to start bringing more blood flow to your brain. Our brain requires 25% of our blood flow and it's also going to release tension and stress from your brain. So tap, if you want to close your eyes, it will relax your body even more. So we want to tap here for a minute or two and notice what it feels. Does it feel like you're giving yourself a massage? Does it feel tender? If you're holding a lot of stress in your head, it may be really painful to tap here. It means you need to do it more. <laughs> so go ahead and tap and breathe. And just let go of any tension you're holding in your head. Just imagine that when you're tapping, you're breathing in like fresh oxygen into every cell in your body. I always imagine I'm breathing sunshine in and you're breathing out any stagnant energy, anything that doesn't serve you, any frustration, old emotion, get it out. Next place we want to tap is on our chest. So tap here, flat hands. Get it off your chest. We literally hold emotion right here in our body and we want to get it off our chest. So you can stay at each place for a minute or two. You can stay there longer. I'm giving you just a really shortened version of how to bring your energy down from your head and to your abdomen so that you can start creating that natural state of balance. Now, if you're under an extreme amount of stress, this might not be enough. So we might need to um, watch some other videos <laughs> or talk <laughs> and I can show you more. But for many people just doing this, these three places that I'm gonna show you to tap will make a difference for you. If it doesn't, we need to talk. <laughs> and close your eyes here, and you may notice by tapping here that your head cools off. You're literally bringing the energy down from your head to your chest. And we're letting go and releasing the emotion that we've been holding in our chest right here. It's a very emotional part of our body. So the next place you want to tap, I'm going to see if I can adjust a little bit, is right under your belly button. So right here, you want to tap right under your belly button and you want to feel it inside. You want to be just about, you know, an inch under your belly button. Got something on my eye. And tap here and really feel that vibration. And if you want to take it to the next level, turn your head side to side. Keep focusing on your breathing, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And you want to feel this tapping inside. We're bringing warmth into our intestines. This is the key for our health right here. It might sound a little strange. You want me to tap my intestines? Yes, I do. <laughs> So just feel your body, let go of any thoughts you've been thinking, and just feel the vibration in your abdomen. Keep it up, you're doing great. And then stop, rub your abdomen clockwise. Uh, take a few breaths. Go ahead if you want to just stand and take a few breaths and notice your body or if you want to sit down and just take in a couple few deep breaths. And notice what you're feeling in your body. Does your head feel a little bit cooler and your abdomen a little bit warmer? I call this head heart tummy tapping and it's a quick way to balance your body and ground yourself in the morning or any time throughout the day, even before you go to bed. Um, I hope this was helpful. I have many other tools that I use for creating that natural state of balance, but let me know what you think. If this is useful for you, when we are noticing our own self, when we're starting to feel stressed or anxious, we can turn that through simple movements. You know, sometimes even just through deep breathing, you can turn that, um, that you know, 
hot head into a cool head, but really simple movements of bringing our energy back down to our abdomen are really helpful. Another helpful exercise is just to shake your body. Stand up and just shake. <sighs> Do that for a couple minutes. And that is also going to help you get that natural state of balance, get your blood flow going, get your energy blocks out. So there's so many simple things that we can do that really um, help our body reduce the stress response and learn that we don't have to be in that chronic cycle of stress. So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions for me, contact me. I would love to hear from you. Have a great day.